there guys what's good how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to vinyl tv if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider subscribing i will appreciate it thank you very much indeed for stopping by thank you very much indeed for clicking i want to show you what we got here we got this baby right here this is canon pixima tx 7451a 7451a this printer is multifunctional printer for office work for student work for businesses it's a printer that you can rely on i'm going to give you an overview of this printer then for us to connect this printer to wi-fi network this printer is dual band you can connect it via wi-fi network and usb cable connection I'm going to start from the back here From the back here if you have any paper jam open up this section and check for any paper jam i do get a lot of questions about paper jam and this is where to check okay and gently close the cover the power cable for this printer is right here three pin power cable is included in the packaging and just above it we have the usb cable spot the usb cable this is what it looks like we have this Advinetex store free delivery here in UK. Unfortunately, the USB cable is not included with the packaging. Okay. And the USB cable is universal. Canon can use it. Epson can use it. HP can use it. You just need to go in straight in. Okay. And this last end goes to the back of your PC. And it will recognize it. Now, this is the rear paper thread. Okay. So we loaded rear paper tray this printer go front and back tray okay so this is the back one this is automatic document feeder adf this is the adf for you to scan multiple pages of documents likewise scan multiple pages this is adf okay open up this section and check this is the flatbed scanner area flatbed scanner and if you open up this printer the ink cartridges is using ink cartridge 560 and 561 okay check my video how we loaded 561 is color and 560 is black okay and if you want to close this printer you just need to go back was movement and front okay so if you if it's upwards like this and if you want to close it don't go with full force if you go with full force you're going to break it so you just need to find go backwards movement before you go front and it will close okay now this is the front casket for the paper tray we loaded a4 paper right here so we have rear paper tray and front so when you want to print out or copy document you need to select particular where you want to print this out okay and You turn this printer on and off from right here okay this is for you to start and this is for you to cancel this is okay so you select arrow with this arrow select function you want to or if you want to go to the menu select change the number with arrow okay so it can print up to can load up to 99 can print out up to 99 sheet of paper okay so select go back with the up and down arrow and select number of documents you want to copy this is for you to go back to the menu okay now what i want us to do is basically for us to load the for us to connect this printer to wi-fi network and for us to do that we need to go to canon print inject selfie okay so for us to print and scan from smartphone or tablet okay so likewise you also need photo easy photo print editor for photo app okay creative pack app as well so what we need to do right now is we need to get our mobile device okay and with our mobile device i need you to switch off your mobile data and connect your printer to the same network we are going to use okay so connect your printer to wi-fi network make sure you connect your mobile device to the same network okay so right now i'm switching off the mobile data just for us to use Wi-Fi network. So what I'm doing do right now, switching off the mobile data, and the next thing we need to do is go to Play Store, okay? Go to your Play Store, 
and once you're in play store the next need you need to do is to download okay download canon prints inject selfie app okay so right now type canon prints inject selfie app okay it's already downloaded on my phone so what we need to do is click it open okay so once you click it open you just need to wait okay now so it asks you to tap here so this is the app okay now what we need to do is first of all we need to click plus on the top okay then for you to add different printer click on it okay so what, what we need to do right now is you can tap on old printer that is here so you can click on it so i'm going to remove the old printer that is that was on this app already so i'm just gonna wait for this to be okay right now so we need to add or switch okay so click add okay here is so remove the old printer delete it yes so right now click register a new printer okay so once you click register a new printer the next we need to do is we need to searching for right now is searching for other printers okay so right now is searching for available printer so click on the network okay so right now here is the printer canon ij0 tx74000 series okay here is this printer okay right now is telling us connected to network so we'll go back Okay, click OK. Wi-Fi has no internet, so we need to set connect in this printer on network setup. Set Wi-Fi setup. Click OK. So right now it's preparing. Please wait momentarily. Here we go. So right now it picked up the network okay so we need to for we need to do right now select wireless router okay so right now we need to check select the wireless router from the following so it picked up the network okay so i'm going to select the network okay so what we need to do right now type the password for this printer okay password for the wi-fi network is what i have here okay i'm going to put the password sometimes people ask me where do you get the password you get the password from the back of your router okay so right now what we need to do is i'm going to put the details okay So once you put the once you put the details click ok okay and information sent right now click ok so right now it will start to communicate and also it's telling us now please wait momentarily so right now it's communicating if the information we put is correct then it will start process Now it's actually not wireless connect has been complete okay so right now please wait easy wireless connect has been complete okay so please press ok so right now we just need to wait for this right now it's communicating with the printer telling us please wait momentum here we go right now it's connected printer setup is not complete refer to the online menu so we just need to go back here we go okay so right now this printer is connected you can see okay so right now ch now choose your favorite photo and try it out so you can select image and print it not right now so this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network and you can see
right now is here once you have done the correct setting it will show you on the app tick good in the middle and you will see this okay so right now if you want to print image anything you want to print you just need to go ahead and do that but right now this printer is connected to wi-fi network okay so if you want to um if you want to uh, print any document you just need to select the document you want to print okay and you, you are ready to go so this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network so it's nice and set up right now once you get to this point then you know that is is done okay so either you select the document um, you want to print select the images you want to print and you are ready to go okay so um and also i'm just gonna cancel so right now click continue so once once you're done okay once you set everything up we will show the printer here tx7400 series so right now with this okay so this is the app you can do a lot of stuff from the app right here okay so uh with the app you can photo print document print creative photo smart photocopy scan copy and more so right now this printer is now connected to wi-fi network so if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe thank you you have the channel thank you this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network thank you